ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the turf fields at Hopkinton High School for Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Soccer, as today they take on the Ashland Clockers. Tom Happy alongside Steve Sweetapple on the call. John Ritz on camera. The Hillers, four wins, three losses, two ties on the season. Ashland, three wins, six losses, and a tie overall. These two teams have met before during this season. It was back on September 5th. The Hillers took down Ashland three to nothing in that game. Hoping for some similar success here today. As we are set to get underway on this cool, muggy day here at the turf field. Certainly a lot different conditions than the other day, Steve. Yeah, it's about uh, 15, 20 degrees cooler than on Tuesday. At least we don't have the, the sun glare. That is true. And we are underway. Ashland in their away white jerseys. Hillers in their home green. And in Ashland territory we go, and it's scooped up by the goaltender, Lily Hellerman, senior goalkeeper for Ashland, and she'll boot it away. Had her at midfield by Sullivan for the Hillers. Ashland trying to control in Hillers territory. And Ryan Lima in there for Ashland. She's the player to look out for for the clockers. Catherine Carter trying to track it down, sent away by McCluskey. Along the far side now. No one there for Ashland throwing Hillers. Lexi Hasbro will take it. Hillers working in Ashland territory. And here comes the clockers. Trying to work her way up field is Alyssa Laughlin. Good recovery from Veal there. Nice. Kept Ashland from an odd man break. Right. I have a feeling this will be a lot more back and forth than the last game we had. Should be. But that's why they play them. That's right. Kicked out of bounds along the near side off of Megan Sullivan. Or was it? No, it's off of a clocker. It'll be Catherine Lagasse throwing it in. Over to Alley Bird she goes. Here's Lagasse. Pass over, just past Sullivan. And catching up to it was Veal. Sent along the far side to Hasbro. Hasbro gets in there. Sending it over now, Lagasse. Here she comes. Out in front of everybody and out of play. And it looks like Ashland's playing a 3-5-2, so they're gonna try to really take control in the midfield. Build the ball up from the back as well as try to clog up the middle and keep Hopkinton from uh, working the ball deep. Goalkeeper Lily Hellerman will send it away. Header by Sesnick. Just past Delaney Mick. Has broke. Sends it up the far side, and that's out. about three minutes into action here at Hopkinton High School. Pretty good turnout for this crosstown rivalry. Over to midfield, Olivia O'Connor trying to get in there. Pass over to Lugasi, now back to O'Connor. Here comes Ashland, they might have a break here. Quickly coming up was Caitlin Merson, then it was cleared away out of play on the Hillers. Yeah, good step from Riley Delaney. Merson had the angle. Emma Arsenault on the throw in. Goes to Ryan Lima. Out in front, cleared away by Lagasse. Lily York sends it down. And here comes Delaney Mick trying to catch up to it quickly. And 
Smart move there by Laughlin, sending it back to the goalkeeper who was just able to keep it in play. Ashland trying to work up the far side, but being heavily contested. Tracking it down for the Hillers. Here's Veal. Sends it out in front, and Sesnick trying to track it down in the box. Sesnick surrounded by Clockers. Just trying to get it back over to Veal. Nice step. Allie Bird was offside. Offside's Hillers. Ashland will have the free kick. Lee Hellerman will send it away. Header by Lima. Along the far side, Hasbro tracks down. Good ball distribution up the sideline. Delaney Mick with possession. She'll send it off a clocker out of play. That's back out of play off of Ashland. Has broke on the entry. Sends it flying into the box out in front. That will force the goaltender out of the net to scoop it up. Lily Hellerman will clear it away. Hiller's doing a nice job keeping possession in Ashland territory as Sesnick approaches the ball. Along their side, Sesnick sends it back to Lagasse. Lagasse was looking for Sesnick there, a little too much on that pass. Ellerman will send it away. Off of the head of Sesnick, has broke, there to track it down. Sends it back in Ashland territory to Delaney Mick. Now Allie Bird tracking it down. Here comes Bird. Bird with the footwork and a long shot just wide. Great turn by Allie. Just a little strong. Just past the 33 minute mark of this first half. It's been good ball control by the Hillers so far. Certainly winning the possession battle up to this point. Veal gets mm. in there. Veal just took a good whack in the ankle. Yeah, she had a slight limp when she got to her feet, but seems to be okay. Yeah, it's cleared away by Ashland. Lima trying to track it down. In front of Lima, that's Olivia O'Connor. We'll send it back to McCluskey. Smart move there. Lagasse now. Sends it down. Ashland trying to maintain control. Alyssa Byer sends it back up. Sesnick is there. Now it's stolen away by Madison English. And a long shot there, scooped up by McCluskey. Along the far side, Delaney Mick couldn't keep it in play, but that's all right, it was out on Ashland. Hasbro sends it down. And this could be trouble. Certainly could, there's a shot and that's scooped up. Hellerman scoops up the attempt by Mick.
There's Hasbro. She has some wheels. As Brug with a couple of clockers around her, sends it down. Goes out of play. Throw in Ashland. Throw in to Lima. Out of play off of Lima. Hillers will have it. Header by Sullivan, in front of the Ashland box. Sent in by Sesnick. Ellerman just able to scoop that up before Bird approached. Back to midfield. Up the near side to Sesnick. Sends it over to York. Now on the far side to Mick. Great overlap from Hasbro. Certainly was. Hasbro with the wheels. Racing in. There's a shot deflected away. That was off of Lily York. Great one time strike from York. Just hit the Ashland player in the face. Cold day like this. I couldn't imagine that felt great. It'll wake you up. Into the box, cleared away for the moment. Here comes Mick, there's a long shot and it's scooped up. Over towards Lima, who's gonna be playing at Assumption College next year. Track down on the far side and out of play it goes. Throw in Hillers. As Broke sent it back out. Here's Lima trying to pass up. A couple of hillers in front of her. Good She's defense from Veal. Certainly was. Throw in Ashland. Sophia Shepard will take it. Off of Laughlin. Sent back down by the Hillers, but out of play it goes. Over to midfield, Sesnick will track it down. Cleared back into Hillers territory by Madison Marchetti for Ashland. Ashland starting to put a little pressure on in these last couple of minutes. Hasbro got tangled up with Lima there. There's Hasbro. Quickly taken back by Ashland. Out in front, here comes Lima approaching. Good step from Riley. Riley Delaney getting in there. It is Ashland Ball. We'll have a throw in from the far sideline. Pass up by Lucy Watt. Now into Hiller's territory, and Lagasse will send it back to McCluskey. Ashland trying to approach. And Riley Delaney gonna keep that one in play for the moment. No, it's out. Ashland throwing. Pass up by York. Here comes the Hillers. Racing up field, Olivia O'Connor. She's trying to get it over to Sesnick. And Sesnick has Emma Arsenal step in front of her there. There's a quick. Pass to the box, and it's picked up by Hellerman. Got 
Better by Lagasse at a play. Throw in for Ashland. That was Arsenault who took it. Getting in there for the Hillers is Veal. Nice pass to Hasbroke. Up the far side to Delaney Mick. Allie Bird gets a foot on it. Mick tracking it down and will send it flying wide right. Hillers certainly have a pretty good attack going here in these. Yeah, they're, they're showing that they can beat Ashland down the wings. They, they need to get the ball out there quicker. It's spending a little bit too much time in the middle. If they can get it out there quicker and then have the off wing making the run. There's Allie Bird. As he says Nick needs to be break to the goal quicker. Bird leaves it behind. There's a shot by York and it's kept away by Ashland. Nice work defensively by Marchetti, and it's sent back into the box out in front. Sesnick, and it's tied up by Hellerman. That went off the body of Sesnick and nearly in. Pass over by Sullivan over to Sesnick. She'll send it far side to Mick. Now York getting in there. Here's Hasbro. Over towards Sesnick, and she won't catch up to that one. Or will she? Wow. Nope. 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 Excuse me. Ellerman will send it away for Ashland. Header by Sullivan. On the far side out of play, throw in Ashland. Sophia Shepard will take it. Delaney Mick tying things up along the far side with Sabrina Reyes. And this whistle in favor of Ashland. Free kick here. Hasbroke sends it down. Off of Bird. Sent back up into Hiller's territory by Lucy Watt. Over to Lima. Now approaching from the far side, that's Shepard. Out of play it goes, throw in Ashland. Shepard sends it flying, and it's wrapped up by McCluskey. Little give and go with Shepard and Merson. And midfield now, sent down by York. Along the near sideline. Ooh, that was never out. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. I actually thought Arsenal might have got a foot on it. I have to review the tape. <laughs> Off of Sullivan, Sesnick. Sends it out in front. Here comes Veal. She'll send it to Hasbro. Up the far side to Mick and now Bird. Good layoff, good layoff. And that was quite a save there by Hellerman who came flying out of the net. Great, great ball through from Allie Bird. York was just a little late coming through. Agassi with the header. And push against Ashland. Hillers will have a free kick. Uh, 
That was against Caitlin Merson. Sends it to Hasbro. Hasbro sends it flying into the box. Sesnick's there and it went off her head and it's wrapped up by Hellerman. Sent down along the near side out of play. Throw into Ashland. Emma Arsenal takes it. Ryan Lima with the pass back. Trying to get in there for the Hillers is Sullivan. Good defense from Sullivan. Ashland will have the throw and Emma Arsenal will take it. Lima with the header, Legassi sends it back. York, pass over. Here comes Veal. She's gonna send it up to Delaney Mick. On the chase down and she'll catch up to it. Boy, that's a great cross. I didn't think there was any way Delaney was gonna catch her own touch. <laughs> Showing off the wheels there. Hellerman sends it away. Getting in there was Sullivan. Along the far side, Mick. Sends it up towards Allie Bird. And Bird raced in and ended up deflecting the Catherine Carter attempted pass. Gabriella Siri and Ashley Butler come into the game for the Hillers. We'll give Lily York and Catherine Lagasse a little rest. 18.42 and counting left to play in the first half. Scoreless between Ashland and Hopkinton. Throw in Ashland. Sophia Shepard will take it. Header by Hasbro. Turned up the far side and out of play. Throw in Ashland. Siri trying to clear it. Sesnick's there. Sends it in front. Siri trying to get to it. Along the near side. Sent up by Madison English for Ashland. And here comes the Hillers once again. Back and forth we go here at midfield. Chase down here by Siri. She'll send it up the sideline and out of play, throw in Ashland. Arsenal will hand it over to Elaine Jones to take it. Sends it towards the box as a header by O'Connor out of play. Ashton will have the throw in. Wayne Jones, a junior. She goes over towards English. Ashton trying to work on something here. A lot of Hiller's defenders in the box. Hasbro clears it away. Cleared the ball away and cleared a girl away. Sent right back up by Hellerman. Hasbro goes up the far side with it. Field getting in there. Out of play. Hiller's throwing. Hasbro on the entry. Better by Delaney Mick, sent back up by Ashland. Riley Delaney steps in there. Pass over to Butler. 
Along the far side, Delaney Mick racing towards it. She'll send it flying. That's off uh, Hellerman, who's then able to wrap it up. Siri sends it back down. Sesnick trying to get in there. Back to midfield. There is Riley Delaney. Nice drop back from Butler to Siri. Siri sends it up towards Sesnick. Out of play, Ashland throwing. And on the entry, Elaine Jones. About halfway through this first half, we're still scoreless between the Hillers and Ashland. And that is sent up by Merson in front of Lima. And McCluskey just able to make it out. Yeah, McCluskey should have been calling for that ball to be passed back with a head, because then she could have picked it up with her hands. Jones goes into Lima. Good uh, step from Siri. Yep, Arsenal kicks that one right off of Siri. And put out a play along the near side off of Sullivan, throw in Ashland. Lima looking for a shooting opportunity. <laughs> Sent down the near side by O'Connor. And out of play off of Byers. And we had some fans arguing behind us for a hand call there. Siri into Bird. Hellerman will pick it up with Sesnick quickly approaching. She sends it away to midfield. Good header there by Butler. Here's Bird sending it out in front of Sesnick yep. and a little too much on that one. Actually, Sesnick's got to be breaking quicker to the goal. Well, certainly a good idea there. That was a great ball. Header by Sesnick back to the sideline off of Ashland. Hillers will have the throw in. Siri takes it. Sends it flying into the box. Delaney Mick trying to rush in there, but Hellerman will scoop it up. The refs gave Hopkinton an advantage there calling the foul. They had a breakaway. I'm surprised he didn't play advantage. Nobody was hurt. Right. Here comes Butler up towards Sesnick, and she's racing towards it. Just able to keep it in play, but then it's put out by Ashland. Off of Arsenal. Some substitutions for the Hillers. Tiffany McCullis, save a Perlov, and Margie Allen into the game. 12 minutes and counting left to play in the scoreless first half between the Hillers and Clockers. Yes. There's a header by Butler. Sent back now towards McCullis. Here's Siri. Siri's going to air it out. Good ball. Good ball. Out in front. There's Bird with a shot, and it's just wide to the left. I would have loved to have seen Allen just one time that. It was coming in on, to use her left foot, but that was the right play. It was just trying to one time that. Perloff should be able to use her speed here down the left flank. Let's see if they can get the ball played out to her, because I think she'll have a lot of green. Riley Delaney with some body contact there. There's Hasbroke. Hasbroke says it just passed Bird. Now it's a race to it. 
Sent back by Ashland for the moment. Nice job by Butler getting in front of that attempted pass. Along the near side, out of play it goes in front of Ava Perloff. Good back and forth game here. Hopkinton had a little bit more possession. The one thing the Hillers do have to be careful for, if Ashland does get the ball up in the box, the Clockers are a very good team in the air. Is that B really attacking you? <laughs> it was for a moment. Throw in Ashland. Off of Aculus it goes. And Butler trying to race, or excuse me, that was uh, Bird trying to race to it. It's scooped up by Hellerman. Sent away. Riley Delaney going to try to track it down. She'll send it back to McCluskey. Up the far side goes McCluskey to Hasbro. Over to Bird. Oof. Butler just missed that one. She would have been in on net. Siri sends it up the near side to Perlov, and it ended up out of play. Throwing for Ashland. Lane Jones will take it. Perloff. She had three goals in the 11-0 win against Bellingham. An errant pass there by Bird out of play. Hiller is surrounding the Ashton ball handler. Yep, good double team. Hasbrouck. Nice move there. Sends it in and right back out it comes. Over to McCulis. McCulis over to Perlov and offsides. Eight minutes and counting left to go in this scoreless first half between the Hillers and Ashland. Out of play along the near side, throwing Hillers, Siri will take it. Goes to Bird, Bird tripped up. Hillers are gonna have a free kick here. Siri will set it up at the 25 yard line. Will she go straight for the net here, or will she go with a pass? Well, this far out, she should go for a pass. She'll be looking at the near post. Airs it out, and right for the net she goes, wrapped up by Hellerman. Got a nice arch to it. Hasbro gets in there to contest. Sabrina Reyes, and out of play it goes. Hiller's throwing, back out. Bird, back to Hasbro, into the box. And there's uh, a shot. Nice take, over Veal the, with a good strike. Yeah, over the net goes Veal. A little too much leg on that one. Hasbrouck races to it. Sends it up to O'Connor. Kulis, Siri. Looking for Perloff. Bird's gonna get in there. And that'll force Hellerman out. Bird quickly approaching. Less than six minutes left to play in the first half. Off 
off of Mikulis. Trying to gather up control there was O'Connor. Lima gets in there for Ashland. Stolen back by the Hillers. Nice job there by Margie Allen. Oh, Perloff's all alone. That's it. Pass to Perloff from Butler. Perloff trying to work it upfield. Now looking for McEulis. McEulis into the box. There's a shot and it is wrapped up. Trying to go five hole in that one. Yes, yeah, she was. We have a push. Well, she's off sides. Ashlyn off sides. Has broke. We'll send it down. Nice send off there over to Veal. Out of play, Hopkinton throwing Ashland. Reyes takes it. Sunk back out by Butler. Or Ashland, rather. Kelly Title into the game, getting a lot of applause from her teammates. Ellie Bird will take a rest. Yeah, it sounded like the Kelly Title fan club was here. <laughs> As Brock will retake the throw in. Over to Veal. Ashland throwing now. Lane Jones on the entry. Sent up over to Title. Here goes Title sending it over. Now approaching McCullis. McCullis able to stop it, gets it back to Butler. Butler tripped up. And Ashland able to get it into Hiller's territory. <coughs> Siri tracks down. McEulis trying to send it over. That attempt was stopped. Siri pass down over to Perlov. There's Veal to Hasbrouck. Nice ball. Good pass there, but Hellerman able to scoop it up. Into Hiller's territory. Tracked down by Siri. Kluski sends it back to Siri. Good ball movement by the Hillers. Nice calm workout from the back. Over to Perloff. Now it's title. Perloff trying to track it down. Out of play. That's the right idea. In the final two minutes of this scoreless first half between the Hillers and Ashland. Tom Nappy, Steve Sweetapple on the call. John Ritz on camera. It's been a good one so far. Pass back by Veal, over to Hasbro. She'll air it out. And out of play it goes. <laughs> Hellerman will send it away. Off of Butler. Turn towards McCullis, and it's stolen away by Ashland. Getting in there was Maddie English. 
Up the near side, out of play it goes. Throw in Ashland. Lima will take it. Throw in Ashland this time, it's Katie Merson taking it. And sent out of play. Sarah will take it all the way from the near side corner. Back out it goes off of Elaine Jones, and that'll do it for the first half. After one half of play, it's the Hopkinton Hillers nothing, the Ashton Clockers nothing. A good defensive battle so far, Steve. Very good. It's about what we thought it would be. Even though it was a 3 nothing Hopkinton victory early in the season, it was the first game of league play, so girls are still getting the kinks worked out from preseason. And this is a little bit more what we thought the game would be. Well, second half coming up next. A lot more action on the way. You are tuned in to Hiller's Girls Varsity Soccer on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. We are just about ready for the second half between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Ashland Clockers. Scoreless game so far, but Steve, I would say the Hillers certainly won the possession battle overall. Yep, yep, the ball, the possession was mostly in Ashland's defensive end for the majority of the game. So the girls are doing a good job of controlling the tempo and possession. I'd just like to see them work the ball a little quicker to the wings. We'll see if they can continue that momentum. Hillers will start off with possession and work left to right across your screen. Ashland doing a good job clogging the middle with the 3-5-2 formation. I think, uh, I think the Hillers realized that about halfway through the first half and they were working the ball quicker to the wing. And then right now they're giving directions to give a quick ball to Delaney Mick down the wing. So let's see. And Del we are underway. Hasbro. Down by Ashlyn Lima trying to get in there, a little tripped up. Free kick Ashlyn. Lucy Watt will take it. Into the box. And out of play. Went off of Madison English. Klusky will send it off. Racing in there is Lily York. Out of play along the far side. Throw in Hillers. Catherine Lagasse will take it. Head her up field. And back and forth we go here at midfield. Pass up by Delaney Mick and quickly sent down by Ashland's Catherine Carter. Wrapped up by McCluskey. She'll send it over to the near side. Ooh, collision there between Delaney Mick and Sophia Shepard, both trying to go for the headbutt on the ball. And I think they got each other. Yeah, they did. Hope they're okay. Trainer's gonna check up on them to make sure there's no concussion or anything like that. 38-19 left to go 
in the second half. We're scoreless between Hopkinton and Ashland. We'll take a timeout on HCAM. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Continuing on off the injury stoppage. Sophia Shepard a little shooken up for Ashland. We certainly hope she's okay. Quite a collision between her and Delaney Mick, both trying to go for the headbutt on the ball and ended up getting each other instead. Hasbro sends it up the near side over to Allie Bird. Ashland sends it back down, or Allie Delaney getting in there. That was sent down by Reyes, and now Lima was trying to break away, but was diverted by O'Connor. Throwing for Reyes. Lily York will track it down. York up to Sesnick. Along the near side now, at a play it goes, just in front of Reyes. Throw in Ashland. Reyes. Back out. Ashland ball. No, Allie Bird wasn't happy about that call. Megan Sullivan gets in there, sends it over to Hasbro. Ooh, Hasbro trips up and kicks it off a play at a play off of Lima. That was a pretty good recovery, though. Get right back up, kick it out off of Lima. How'd she planned it that way? <laughs> out in front, this will force Hellerman out. She'll wrap it up. Says Nick was trying to sneak in there. Over to midfield, Sesnick. Nicely done there by Lily York, getting in front of the attempted pass by Jones. Out into the box with Allie Bird approaching. Hellerman wraps it up. Good pass by Allen. A steal along the far side by Sullivan. And at a play it goes. Hillers will have the entry. Lagasse handles the throw in, goes towards the corner, trying to track it down as York out of play. Throw in Hillers, this time from further up. Feels like it's just getting colder and colder out here, Steve. Yep. We're not running around like the girls here on the soccer field. Veal trying to track it down. And getting in front of her was Carter to send it into Hiller's territory. Turned up by Riley Delaney. Hasbro trying to keep it in but could not throw in Ashland. Reyes will take it. About five minutes into the second half. Still scoreless between the Hillers and Ashland. Yeah, from deep in their own end, when Ashland gets the possession, they're just long balling it up to the forwards. The problem is midfield's not following up. So Hopkinton has an easy time defending that. Allie Bird out in front. And a little too much in front. 
Wrapped up by Hellerman. Hellerman sends it off. Good hang time on that one. Out of play off of Lagasse. Throwing Ashland. Arsenal takes it. Sent into Hiller's territory from English. Has broke. Able to gather it up. Sends it flying back into Ashland territory. Here's Ali Bird. Bird with the pass up, and it was deflected off of a clocker. Allen trying to turn it towards the box. Out in front now. Pass over to York. Good cross. Bird getting in there, surrounded by clockers towards the end line. And do we have a corner here? Nope. No. Bird was certainly hoping that it was out on Ashland. Good step from Veal. Veal over to Allen, no one there. To midfield. Header by O'Connor. Lagasse back to O'Connor. Up to Veal. Looking for Allen. She has a breakaway. Here comes Allen. She'll slow it down. Looking for someone to get into the oh, box. Oh, that's in. Oh, oh right I off thought that top. was going. I oh, thought that oh. was going. She was looking for the right angle on the ball and was trying to send it to the top of the net. And unfortunately, it was a little too much to the top of the net. That was a pretty good shot, though, I must say. I thought she had it. It was it, close. It looked perfect when it left her foot. Need another. If it was another inch or so down, that would have been right in. Racing in there, Riley Delaney. Hiller's trying to work it up the far side. Pass over to Veal. Has broke. Sends it into the oh. box. Oh, off of Sesnick. Handball on Sesnick. Handball, yeah. <clears throat> Great look from Hasbrock. Sent away by Hellerman. Hillers have put some good pressure on these last couple of, of possessions. We have a call here against Ashland. Off sides. Uh, no, it was a high boot. Ah. Like I see, will take the free kick. Good ball. Over it, right to Hasbro. Hasbro trying to get it up to Allie Bird. Along the near side, Veal. Over to York. York airs it out and out of play. About nine minutes into the second half. Scoreless between the Hillers and Ashland. Hellerman airs it out. A couple headers there by Merson for Ashland. Throw in for the clockers. And we'll have a free kick for the Hillers. Or throw in, rather. Out of play, it went. Along the far side, O'Connor are going to track it down, send it back to McCluskey. Over to Hasbro. Hasbro. 
Over to Allen. Did go out, but still in play. No, the ref did signal it was out. Ah, okay. Didn't hear the whistle. No, you're not supposed to blow the whistle on when it goes off the sideline unless they continue. That one knocked back out this time off of Ashland. Hasbrook takes the throw in over to Lily York. Allen gets in there. Sent up by York. Along the near side, Bird trying to track it down. And smart move there, sending it back to Hellerman by Catherine Carter. Ashland trying to clear it away. Out in front. And O'Connor will get to it as Merson's tripped up. Pass up field by Lagasse. Into Ashland territory. Allen gets in there. Over to the far side now. Sesnick. Cleared back into Hiller's territory by Ashland. Here comes the Hillers once again. Continuing to win the possession battle. Hasbro over to Allen. Maybe a little too much. Just yes. a little. About 12 minutes into action here in the second half. Tom Nappy, Steve Sweetapple, happy to be with you from Hopkinton High School. John Ritz on camera. And Lily Hellerman sends it up the middle of the field. Hasbro. Taken away by Ashland. Getting in there was Allison Laughlin. Over to Hasbro. Hasbro able to send it upfield after going back and forth with Reyes. Now hopping in there for the Hillers, Megan Sullivan. Along the far side. And put out a play off of Byers for Ashland. Hillers will make a substitution. Ava Perlaw back into the game. She'll give Meredith Sesnick a bit of a breather. Lagasse on the throw into York. Airs it out. In front of the box. Allen approaching at a play off of Ashland. Has broke on the entry. Goes over to Lily York. York sends it up out in front of Allen. Allen airs it out. What? The official calling it out of play. I don't know about that one. No, it wasn't even close. Well, a break there for Ashland, I guess. Off of Allen. And out of play it goes. Throwing Hillers. Hasbro to York. Allen trying to track it down. Ended up out of play. Clocker's ball, I guess. No call. Hillers will have the throw in from the near side corner in Ashland territory. Allen with the pass over to Sullivan. 
Rossi trying to get in there, and it's taken away by Ashland. Here comes Allison Laughlin with the pass, looking for Ryan Lima. Riley Delaney in front of her. Off of Delaney it goes, and she'll send it out of play. Oh, a bit of a mishandle there by the Hillers. Hillers will have the entry from the far sideline. Lagasse over to Bird. Now breaking in there for Ashland was English, but she's diverted. Ashland. Great step from O'Connor. Yeah. Ashland trying to control in Hillers' territory. O'Connor sends it upfield. Now here comes the Hillers once again on the attack. Hasbrook able to just get it away, and then it's out of play off of a clocker, Catherine Carter. To Bird. Off of Bird, who rushed in there. Sent way up to midfield, header by Riley Delaney. There's Sophia Reyes sending it up for Ashland. Here comes Allen. Allen trying to set it up into the box. Hellerman comes out to scoop it up just before Perlov could get to it. Off of Lagasse. There's a shot by Perlov and it's wrapped up. Pretty good shot there. Into Hiller's territory, Ryan Lima approaching. Sent back to the goaltender by Olivia O'Connor. Now to Hasbrouck. Off of Allen, up the near side. Nice step from Allie Bird. Asbrook was looking for a push call there. There certainly should have been one. On the near side out of play. Throw in Ashland. Race will take it. Out of play Ashland. Hasbrook will be on the entry. Over to Bird. Their side out. Hiller's ball. Has broke on the entry. So there's a Bird Allen with a misfire. Able to gather it up though and send it to her left of Veal and now Veal over to Sullivan. Ashlyn trying to get it into Hiller's territory. Certainly having a tough time getting into Hiller's territory at all in the second half. Hasbrouck, nice move there. Into the box. Out of play. Couple substitutions for the Hillers. Ashley Butler and Kelly Title back into the game. Lily York and Allie Bird will take a rest. Header by Butler. Off of Allen, out of play, throw in Ashlyn. Turned up by Veal, pass over by Butler. Now out in front, this will force Hellerman out, the title approaching. About halfway through this second half, still scoreless. Here comes Ashland. And it's sent back by O'Connor to McCluskey. With Sabrina Reyes quickly approaching. On the far side, that was out off of Lagasse. 
Rowan Ashland. Connor meeting up with Arsenal there. Now, a handful of players from both sides colliding, and a shot, and it's wrapped up. Megan Sullivan was knocked to the ground. Header by Butler. Title approaching. Megan Sullivan joining in on the fun along the far side out of play. Ashland will have the throw in. And that'll draw a whistle. Little collision there between Lagasse and Allison Laughlin. Lucy Watt will take the free kick for Ashland. There's an out pass up by Title. Hiller is trying to attack. Over to Butler. Sends it up the far side and Perlov trying to track it down. Perlov gets in there and gives a little elbow to Marchetti who kicks it out. Let's go, Mar Furry one. Good job, Mag. Good job, Maggie. Throw in for the Hillers. Couple substitutions, Tiffany McCullis and Gabriella Siri back into the game. Siri is going to take the throw in. Under 18 minutes left to play. Into the box and wrapped up. To midfield, Riley Delaney with a header. Has broke. Back into Hiller's territory. Kluski will take care of this one. Pass by Lima. Sent over to the far side by English. Back in Ashland territory. Header by McCullis. Now has broke. Has broke. He's looking for Sesnik. Trying to center it up there. Veal plays it off her body. Has broke. Sends it back out in front. Butler to McCullis, now to Siri. Little misfire there from Siri. Allows Ashland to get it back in the Hillers territory. Good switch. Here's Hasbrook. Just past Sesnick. Ashland will get to clear it away as we approach 16 minutes left to go. Header there by Butler. Title approaching. Oh, take the shot. And Keeper was out. Yes, yeah, Sesnick was attempting to take the shot. And jumping in front of her was Carter. Throwing Hillers. Might have been a game-saving play there by Catherine Carter. Sesnick. Sends it back towards Veal. Header by Ashland still along the box. Veal trying to get in there. Kulis with the header. Perloff with a got shot. Got it, got Loops it. it up and that's in. Ava Perloff. Goal, Hillers. Calm, cool, and collected. Well done. It comes with 15-17 left to go in the first half. What a goal that was. In the second half, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be the second half. It's getting colder. That's true. 
Eva Perlov with the perfect strike. Just over the reach of Hellerman. And a play along the near side. Sesnick. Looped up in the air, header by Butler. Cleared away by Ashland. And a play it goes, throwing Hillers. Sesnick, the official ruled it out. I didn't agree with that one really either. <laughs> Throw in Ashland, Elaine Jones will take it. Off of Lima, had her ass broke. Ryan Lima will send it flying. Kluski comes out to wrap it up. Along the far side. Good idea. Yep, over to Sesnick. Great ball from O'Connor. Hasbro. Out of play. Off of Ashland. Has broke on the entry. Off of Veal out of play there. Hit her by Lima. Connor will track it down. Off of Sesnick out of play. Well, Hiller's at 4-3-2 and two on the season. Win here would put them at 12 points. And that would be just six away from a postseason spot. Gabriella Siri racing up the far side. Up the sideline, Perlov trying to get to it. Still in control and out of play. It looks like, I believe we'll have a corner. And we will. Megan Sullivan into the game for the Hillers. Taking over for Alexis Veal, who had a great performance today. Here's the corner. Controlled for the moment by Sullivan. Perlov sends it over out in front and it's wrapped up by Hellerman. Good squeeze from the keeper. She almost had goal number two there. <laughs> Ashland trying to break through. Kluski will come out. Gives it over to Olivia O'Connor. O'Connor sends it up and then had a playoff of Merson for Ashland, throwing Hillers. Siri will take it. Sullivan with the pass up. Now Butler. Here yep. comes the Here Hillers. Perloff's in on the goal. Oh, nice defense. I thought she was in all alone on goal. But still she has still control. Is. There's a shot <laughs> and another goal. Eva Perloff burning by two defenders. Able to get the shot off and put it in. Her second goal of the game. And it's a 2 0 Hillers lead with 11 01 left. Yeah, we, we were talking about in the first half how her speed down the left flank was going to be in play, and she showed it there. She certainly did. It's now five goals in the last two games for Perlow. Well, the Hiller 
Panthers certainly feeling comfortable now with under 11 minutes left to play. But they'll keep their foot on the gas. Siri. One thing I've noticed about this Hillers team, they're pretty deep. Yep, they are. Out in front into Hillers territory. On the air side of Hasbro. They're tenacious on defense too. Certainly are. They have been dominating the possession battle in this game. Sullivan over to Siri. Siri's gonna air it out. Off of Sesnick. Here comes Hasbrouk. Hasbrouk trying to get a shot off. He's turned away for the moment. Nice move there. Sends it back to Sesnick. Sesnick going to air it out, and it's wrapped up. Nice overlapping run there from Hasbrouk. Off of Mikulis, so we get a call against Mikulis here. A little push. Ashland will have the free kick under 10 minutes left. A 2-0 Hillers lead. Aired out by Madison Marchetti. We'll have another free kick for Ashland. Yeah, a little push in the back there from Riley Delaney. Madison English will take it. Offsides. Offsides clockers. <laughs> Under nine minutes to play. Klusky sends it over to Siri. Now to Sullivan, pass up the far side. Throw in Ashland. And Clockers wanted to get a handful of substitutions in first. Walker's on the entry. Bofflin took it. Out in front, Hasbro. Ashland's playing a man down. We've only got you 10 players right. on. <laughs> Should we let the coach know? Yeah, we'll think about it. Hasbro on the entry. They're really trying to test their skills. <laughs> Might be one thing to do if you've got an eight point lead, but not when you're down two. <laughs> <laughs> Throw in for the clockers. I'm just curious how long it's gonna take them to notice. I really feel like I should yell down to him. <laughs> Could if you want. Here comes Perlov up the far side. And a play goes. And he's now realized it. He's just had a girl walk on. <laughs> <laughs> the rest doesn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that is funny. Riley Delaney with possession. Up to Butler. Sent over to York, or Kulis now along the far side. Perlov airs it out, out in front. Laughlin came out, and now it's going to be a goal for Ashley Butler. Laughlin came way out, or excuse me, Hellerman came way out, trying to wrap it up, and Butler gets the strike on it. Yep, keeper just bungled the ball, and Butler was making a hard run in on net. Came out of the keeper's hands, hit her knee, and she just walked it in. 
Three nothing, 6-16 left to go in the game. Ashley Butler getting in the score books, the sophomore. Now sometimes when you come out of net, one little yep. mishap trying to handle the ball, that'll happen. Hellerman had the ball in her hands, she just could not tie it up. And a nice walk-in goal for the Hillers. Yeah, it looked like she looked like she took her eye off the ball and was looking to see where Butler was, because she knew she was coming in. Well, the Hillers beat Ashland back in early September in their second game of the season, three to nothing. Could have that same result here. Of course, still time left, so. We'll have to wait and see. Hasbro on the entry. Header by Allen out of play. Ryan Lima will throw it in. Off of Hasbro, he just keeps putting it off of play, out of play. Out in front, Ashland looking for a shot here. Cleared away. Byers pass over to the far side. And it's stolen away by Perloff. Here comes the Hillers. Trying to pass over was Vassington. Allie Bird also back out there for the Hillers. Sent over by McCullis, over towards Hasbro. Hasbro, working her way upfield, finds Allen. And Margie Allen, trying to work her way in, was diverted by Brooke Kaluga. Hasbro, turns it upfield. Out of play, Ashland. Substitution for both sides. Kelly Title back into the game for the Hillers. Caitlin Merson for Ashland. Throw in Title. Over to the corner to Allie Bird. Bird sends it out in front, and for the moment it's diverted by Ashland, and there's a long shot by Allen. Margaret Sullivan had a really good look in front of the net, just could not get the shot off. That was a good layback from Allie Bird. On the far side now. Siri will throw it in. Up the far side and out. Siri on the entry. Hit her up field, and now here comes McCullis. Pass over to Title. Title finds Allen. Ooh, just off. And offsides Hillers. Allie Bird, the guilty party. Here comes Ashland working their way up the near side. Madison English with possession. Now it's Hiller's ball. Offsides Ashland. Or out of play, rather. Throw in towards Sullivan. Up the far side. And it's turned up field by Perloff. And Ashton will have a free kick here. For the final minutes of this game, Hillers are going to grab a win here today, up three to nothing. 
But Ashland trying to get rid of that zero on the scoreboard. Let's see if they can. Nope, just over the net. Pretty good attempt there. Up the far side, Siri. And out of play it went, throw in Ashland. On the far side and out of play it goes. That went out off of Sullivan. Well, good effort here today by the Hillers, Steve. Yep, very good. Um, you know, it's, it's three goals, and it sounds like a, a good offensive explosion, especially in the second half. But you've got to take your hats off to Hopkinton's back line and their midfield. They did a great job working the ball up from deep in the end and breaking up all kinds of Ashland runs. So girls should be very happy with this performance. They certainly should, and that's going to do it. The Hillers take the game. Three to nothing, Hopkinton now up to 12 points overall, improving to five, three and two on the season. Ashland falls to three, seven and one. And that is going to wrap up this broadcast of Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Soccer, the final score for the final time. The Hillers over Ashland, three to nothing. For John Ritz on camera, my, my broadcast partner, Steve Sweetapple, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for watching Hillers Girls Varsity Soccer on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.